Assalamu alaikum, dear learners and viewers. Welcome to the online classes arranged usually by the government Mujibur Oman Women's College and today I would like to deliver my lecture on closed test without close. My dear students, you know, its code name is fill in the blanks with an appropriate word in each gap. And it is mainly suitable for the students of SSC first year and is also appropriate for SSC second year students. Our today's topic is the quality, the value of rose. You know, rose, yeah, the speaker says rose is a symbol of dash. You know, we usually rose just to exchange our love, just to exchange our greetings, just to say happy birthday to others, just to appreciate others, and above all, just to exchange our views, our mind views, and just to express our welcome to others we use roj as a token of love and here the speaker says my dear students and rose is a symbol of gap yeah the speaker says that rose is a token of dash i will discuss elaborately later on now i would like to read the passage thoroughly so that you can easily understand the expression, the speaker's expression, the meaning, and above all the thematic matter of the context. Of the context. Now, the rose is a symbol of dash. Yeah, yeah. Then, I have a rose garden. Here the speaker says that he owns a rose garden. Here the speaker says that he has a rose garden. Here the speaker says that he possesses a rose garden. Okay. And you should be allowed thinking about the fact that the whole context is under the structure of present indefinite tense. Okay? Present tense. The garden looks dash while the roses bloom. The garden looks extraordinary. The garden looks, you know, nice. The garden looks beautiful. The garden looks gorgeous. The garden looks pompous. While the roses blow. When the roses blow, it does sweat. Here we find it as a subject. Introductory, it does sweat. It smells sweat. Then the dash and fragrance of the rose attract us. The dash and fragrance. Here we find the compound noun. To compound noun and noun plural. So here we get verb The dash and fragrance of the rose attract all. I plant roses from my garden. Dash our house dash. That is to say, the speaker says that when it is necessary to decorate our house beautifully, then I usually plant roses from my garden. That means the speaker says that to cultivate rose, to cultivate roses is his hobby. The speaker says that the cultivation of roses is his hobby. So he enjoys, he extracts the beauty of nature from the rose garden. The speaker says that he plants roses from the garden when it is necessary to decorate his house nicely. That is, that is to say, the rose provides us with its fragrance. The rose also gives us spontaneously its beauty. So the speaker is very much occupied, very much occupied to flag roses when it is necessary to decorate his house clearly. Okay? My dear, nowadays many people dash roses. And it has now become a hobby for many people. Many people are now engaged in cultivating roses. 
once upon a time, once upon a time, only a few number of people used to cultivate roses. But at present, it has become a fashion. It has become a hobby. It has become a pastime for many people to cultivate roses because, because it has multifarious benefits. Cultivation of roses has multi multifarious advantages. Okay? Now, the dash of rose is profitable. Here we find that. The dash of rose is profitable. That means here determinate the so the cultivation of rose is profitable. Profit profitable. Adjective. So we should dash roses not only to earn money but also to dash our houses. We should subject here first, then moral auxiliary verb. We should dash roses. That is to say, we must use the base form of the main verb just after modal auxiliary verb if we find it under active voice. Okay? If we find any sentence under the structure of active voice, then we should use main verb base form just after modal auxiliary verb. Okay? We should dash roses. Here we subject should modal auxiliary verb. Roses not only to earn money, but also to, to infinitive here. Compound sentence. Compound sentence and to infinitive. We should dash roses not only to earn money, but also to dash our houses. But also to, again to, that is means infinitive phrase, but also to dash our houses. Now, we will solve the problem. You know, the context is about the advantages of cultivating roses. Here the speaker expresses his views, expresses his philosophy, expresses his feelings about the cultivation of the roses. And for this reason, we here find the speaker as first person. Okay? So, you should think that, my dear students, you should think that every structure and every sentence would be under the structure of present tense, present dependent or present or something like this or that, because it is a habitual, it is a habitual fact. Okay, now we should answer. Rose is a symbol. Here, my dear students, we find now a symbol of. So we have to know that here another noun could be used here. So symbol of dash. Rose is a symbol of. You can write either love or beauty, or purity, or innocence, or innocence, etc, etc, as you like best. But remember one thing that is to be noted here that in the examination hall, in our answer script, you should write only one suitable answer, not optional answers, okay? Then, those is a symbol of dash. Yeah, you may use either love, which may be a symbol of love, Rose may be a symbol of beauty. Rose may be a symbol of purity. Rose may be a symbol of innocence, etc. etc. Okay. Now another sentence. I have a rose garden. Here there is no gap to be filled up. No. Or filled in. The garden looks dash. The garden look. You look so smart. You look so handsome. You look so authentic. Authentic. You look so dirty. You look so furnished. That is to say, here the garden looks dash. Subject verb. So we should use here adjective. The garden looks dash when the roses blow. That is to say, when it is time to it is time for the blooming of the roses, then the garden looks dash. The speaker says that the garden looks Colorful. You can say the garden looks nice. The garden looks beautiful. The garden looks extraordinary. You you can answer any any choice. You can uh, fill up the gap. You can fill in the gap with any choice that you like best. 
but the answer should be appropriate. The answer should be relevant to the context. The answer should be too much similar. There should be a similarity between the question and answer. Okay, my dear? Then, the garden looks, you can say, either beautiful or nice or colorful or gorgeous, etc. etc. Or in the roses, okay. It does sweet. It smells sweet. That means the roses have sweet smells. It smells sweet. Okay? It smells sweet, active form. And if you transform the sentence into passive one, then you should answer. It is smelled, it is smelled sweet. The dash and fragrance of the rose attract all. The dash, the gap, and fragrance. Yes? The color and fragrance of the road, the attire, the zeal, the color and fragrance of the rose attract all. That is to say, the rose possesses both the color and smells. So the color and fragrance. Because here, subject plural, so verb has been used here as plural one. Okay, my dear students. I plant roses from my garden. I plant roses. That is to say, the speaker plant roses. The speaker also plant roses from his garden. When our house is decorated, or I plant roses from my garden to decorate our house to beautifully. You have the options to choose. But remember one thing: when options are many. Choosing the best one is often difficult. So my dear students, you should be previous thoughtful, pre-thoughtful, while filling in the gaps. You should be preoccupied about your thinking before filling in the gaps, so that suitable answer must not be or can't be avoided. Okay? Then, I plant roses from my garden when, you can say, our house is decorated. That is to say, when the speaker thinks that his house should be decorated and only then he plants roses from his garden. This is its explanation. The expression is that the speaker plants roses when it is necessary to decorate his house beautifully just beforehand the festival or beforehand any occasion the speaker plants roses for this garden you can see in this soil okay nowadays that is to say nowadays nowadays okay because in the days nowadays many people now plural many people dash roses Nowadays, many people dash roses. Many people cultivate roses. Once upon a time, many people didn't cultivate roses. But nowadays, many people cultivate roses as a fashion, as a custom, as a hobby, as a pastime. Many people cultivate roses. Okay, my dear learners. Nowadays, many people cultivate roses. Then the speaker says that the dash of rose is profitable. The determiner. So after determiner, we should use the noun form. The cultivation of rose is profitable. That means the cultivation of roses is profitable nowadays. It is profitable. Okay? So we should, yes, subject, then moral of the We should dash roses. We should grow roses. We should, you may, you may answer cultivate, no doubt. No doubt, but we have brought about a variety while answering the context. So we should grow. We should grow or cultivate as you like best. We should grow roses. Nowadays, we cultivate roses. We should grow roses, not only to earn money, that is, that is to say, 
Our target is not to earn money, but also to dash our houses, but also to decorate our house. Infinitive too. Decorate our house, only decorate or furnish or furnish our house, hmm. but also to decorate or furnish our houses. That is to say, many people nowadays cultivate roses with a view to with a view to earning money and at the same time with a view to decorating how our houses. Okay? So we are crossing the second wave of COVID-19. So my dear students, I would like to advise you to stay at home and continue your online classes with us. And then we will I will again I would again take my class on this topic later on. Be happy, stay tuned. Assalamu alaikum.